Are you here to buy some herbs? I do hope you brought your prescription. Chingsing, glaze lily, and violet grass, please. Half a pound of each. What kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's everything we have in stock. Thank you. She's really eating them! My hunger has now abated. Thank you. Rather awful. Though they were not completely devoid of sweet fragrance, after consuming a large quantity of them, bitterness is all that remains. So, how come you chow down on these and barely touch the restaurant food? If Paimon had enough, Mora, Paimon would go to the fanciest restaurant in town and order a whole table of food and eat it all in one go! Because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious, but should I return to the mountains, yearning for the food here shall only pose an obstacle to my continued spiritual development. Sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Return to the mountains. That proves it. Paima knew she was an adeptus. Mm, enough about me. What are your plans from here? Oh, right. Paima almost forgot. We came out to take part in the Rebuild the Jade Chamber competition. And, and now we're probably super behind because we've been held up for so long. Hmm, I see. I heard something about the contest when I was passing by. <laughs> yep! You get to ask Ningguang any question you want if you win! Were you interested in the contest too, Shen Hmm. Huh? I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber, but until this point I had no intention of joining a contest. However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would now like to lend you my assistance. Oh, don't worry. I ask for nothing in return. Wow! You really don't have to! But having an Adeptus help out will make things a whole lot easier, so... Then let's not delay. I have a plan. Great! Paimon bets this is gonna be the awesomest plan ever! Mm, I am not sure whether or to what extent this plan can be classified as awesome. I do, however, believe it will be highly effective. We simply need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. Then, we alone shall become the victors. Vito! That is not acceptable! Not by a long shot! Really? But I hear that competition is in essence about conflict and one-upmanship. Look, we want to win this competition fair and square, okay? <sighs> Sunset Vermilion Night, Wonder Course, and Adepti Sigils. Let's start at the top of the list and work down. So, for Plastrite... I was wondering who I could hear arguing over there. So, it's you. Bye, Hugh. What are you doing out here? Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the store, so... I came out to fetch the ingredients personally. Huh? How can Lady Ningguang need so much wound dressing all of a sudden? I'm not too sure. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Maybe for its first aid on site? I didn't ask, though. Far be it from me to pry into my customer's personal affairs. Oh, and she also borrowed Chi-Chi. Meaning Boo Boo Pharmacy is very short-handed right now. I don't suppose any of you are looking for part-time work by any chance? No, no. We've got other stuff to do. Um, while you're here, though, you seem to know a lot. Have you ever heard of something called Sunset Vermilionite? Ah, the variety of plostrite used in the Jade Chamber, yes? There is some mention of it in the Seven Mountain Treatises. When activated, Sunset Vermilionite rises up all the way into the clouds. 
It's very rare indeed. As far as the records show, virtually all Sunset Vermilionite in existence has been mined and taken possession of. But the Feiyun Commerce Guild would know far more about this than I do. Okay then, let's go ask at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Thanks, Baiju. You're quite welcome. Good luck to you all. And if there's anything further you need from me, just come to the Boo Boo Pharmacy.